The next topic is uh, blood tests and ultrasound scans in pregnancy. Usually when a woman sees me for her first visit, her GP has done um, all or most of the initial uh, routine blood tests in pregnancy. Uh, these include a blood count, uh, her iron stores, her blood uh, group, uh, checking for red cell antibodies, checking thyroid status, chickenpox immunity, uh, checking rubella immunity, um, blood sugar, uh, hepatitis B and C, HIV, syphilis, and a urine check for infection. So these are, are routine tests um, that we start when we start the pregnancy. Then we offer the women a screening test for chromosome issues, particularly Down syndrome, trisomy 21, 13 and 18 as well, sexual chromosome disorders. That's called an NIPT or non-invasive prenatal test. That can be done at 10 weeks. It's a very, very accurate test and a woman can find out the sex of a baby through that test. Uh, I also advise her, give her a referral for a morphology ultrasound scan that's a very detailed ultrasound scan to check for abnormalities of the baby, very, very important. And so I use people who are experts in baby ultrasound scans. I myself will do an ultrasound scan as part of the uh, visit every time I see her so we can check the size, the growth, baby's well-being. Um, then at 26 weeks, she'll have a blood test for um, diabetes, uh, anemia again, iron stores, and if she's got rhesus negative blood group for red cell um, antibodies. Um, I also uh, get her to take a vaginal swab, so we check for um, a um, bacteria called group B streptococcus. If she does have that, it could be a potential danger when the baby delivers, um, so we uh, give her appropriate antibiotics in the management um, of that. There may be um, other blood tests, other ultrasound scans, assessments that are needed uh, because of developments during the course of the pregnancy.